You shall not make for yourselves idols, nor shall you set up for yourselves a graven image or a sacred pillar, nor shall you place a carved stone in your land to bow down to it, for I am Yahweh your God. You shall keep my Sabbaths and fear my sanctuary, I am Yahweh. If you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments so as to do them, then I shall give you rains in their season, so that the land will give forth its produce and the trees of the field will give forth their fruit. Indeed, your threshing will last for you until grape gathering, and grape gathering will last until sowing time. You will thus eat your food to the full and live securely in your land. I shall also give you peace in the land so that you may lie down, with no one making you tremble. I shall also eliminate wild beasts from the land, and no sword will pass through your land. But you will pursue your enemies, and they will fall before you by the sword, and five of you will pursue one hundred, and one hundred of you will pursue ten thousand, and your enemies will fall before you by the sword. So I will turn toward you and make you fruitful and multiply you, and I will confirm my covenant with you. And you will eat the old supply and clear out the old because of the new. Moreover, I will make my dwelling among you, and my soul will not loathe you. I will also walk among you and be your God, and you shall be my people. I am Yahweh your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt so that you would not be their slaves, and I broke the bars of your yoke and made you walk erect. But if you do not obey me and do not do all these commandments, if, instead, you reject my statutes, and if your soul loathes my judgments so as not to do all my commandments and so break my covenant, I, in turn, will do this to you, I will appoint over you a sudden terror, consumption and fever that will waste away the eyes and cause the soul to pine away. Also, you will sow your seed uselessly, for your enemies will eat it up. And I will set my face against you so that you will be defeated before your enemies, and those who hate you will have dominion over you, and you will flee when no one is pursuing you. If also after these things you do not obey me, then I will discipline you seven times more for your sins. I will also break down your pride of strength, I will also give your sky over to become like iron, and your earth like bronze. And your power will be spent uselessly, for your land will not give forth its produce, and the trees of the land will not give forth their fruit. If then, you walk in hostility against me, and are unwilling to obey me, I will increase the plague on you seven times according to your sins. And I will send out among you the beasts of the field, which will bereave you of your children, and cut down your cattle, and reduce your numbers so that your roads lie desolate. And if by these things you do not accept my discipline, but walk in hostility against me, then I will walk in hostility against you, and I, even I, will strike you seven times for your sins. I will also bring upon you a sword which will execute vengeance for the covenant, and when you gather together into your cities, I will send pestilence among you so that you shall be given over into enemy hands. When I break your staff of bread, ten women will bake your bread in one oven, and they will bring back your bread by rationed weight so that you will eat and not become full. Yet, if in spite of this you do not obey me, but walk in hostility against me, then I will walk in wrathful hostility against you, and I, even I, will discipline you seven times for your sins. Further, you will eat the flesh of your sons, and the flesh of your daughters you will eat. I then will destroy your high places, and cut down your incense altars, and give your corpses to lie on the corpses of your idols, for my soul shall loathe you. And I will give your cities over as a waste, and will make your sanctuaries desolate, and I will not smell your soothing aromas. And I will make the land desolate, so that your enemies who inhabit it will themselves feel desolate because of it. You, however, I will scatter among the nations, and will draw out a sword after you, as your land becomes desolate and your cities become waste. Then the land will make up for its Sabbaths all the days of the desolation, and you will be in your enemy's land. Then the land will rest and make up for its Sabbaths. All the days of its desolation it will observe the rest which it did not observe on your Sabbaths while you were living on it. As for those of you who may remain, I will also bring weakness into their hearts in the lands of their enemies. And the sound of a driven leaf will pursue them, and even when no one is pursuing they will flee as though from the sword, and they will fall. They will therefore stumble over each other as if running from the sword, although no one is pursuing, and you will have no strength to stand up before your enemies. But you will perish among the nations, and your enemy's land will consume you. So those of you who may remain will rot away in their iniquity in the lands of your enemies, and also in the iniquities of their fathers they will rot away with them. 
if they confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers, and their unfaithfulness which they committed against me, and also how they walked in hostility against me, I also was walking in hostility against them, to bring them into the land of their enemies. Or if their uncircumcised heart becomes humbled so that they then make up for their iniquity, then I will remember my covenant with Jacob, and I will remember also my covenant with Isaac and my covenant with Abraham as well, and I will remember the land. For the land will be forsaken by them and will make up for its Sabbaths while it is made desolate without them. They, meanwhile, will be making up for their iniquity because they rejected my judgments and their soul loathed my statutes. Yet in spite of this, when they are in the land of their enemies, I will not reject them, nor will I so loathe them as to bring an end to them, breaking my covenant with them, for I am Yahweh their God. But I will remember for them the covenant with their ancestors, whom I brought out of the land of Egypt in the sight of the nations, that I might be their God. I am Yahweh. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which Yahweh has given to be between himself and the sons of Israel by the hand of Moses at Mount Sinai.